So I almost had a thousand dollars in sales for this week. That's not you. That's higher than normal. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melissa, also known as the Thrifty Broad. You can find me on Instagram, of course, here on YouTube. And I sell mainly on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. And this is the What Sold video from October 8th to October 14th. So the first thing, first thing first. Um, it was a Bowdoin printed Anna Jersey long sleeve dress. It sold for $22 on Poshmark. Um, the fees were $4.40. And so I made a profit of $15.60 and I got this at the bins. So my cost of goods, if I got it at the bins, my cost of goods is like $2. So just assume that unless um, I got it somewhere else and I'll call that out. Next item is Natural Gear Men's 2X Camouflage Pullover Fleece Jacket. It sold for $34 on eBay for $14.07 um, was the shipping. I don't do free shipping, but I do include it in my sold price uh, because I end up paying for the shipping, even though eBay is purchasing it. It works differently like Poshmark or, or Macari where they just send you a label. So the fees were $4.03. The fees are the eBay fees plus promoted listings. I put them together in my spreadsheet. Um, and so I made a profit of $13.90. Not bad. Um, natural gear is like um real tree or whatnot. Now, some of the collaborations, like Real Tree has done collaborations, I think, with Adidas and some other companies. And that stuff can go for quite a bit more than normal. Um, the this was a pullover fleece, and so it's outerwear, and that goes for a little bit more. Absolutely, we'll pick that up again. <clears throat> Vera Bradley woman's medium blue floral scrub top. Now, preface, when I got this home, I did not realize it had as many pools as it did. Um, it had a quite quite a few pools. However, I instead of just redonating it because I thought I was going to do that, I took really good photographs. I took photographs of all the pools and then I put it up on all the platforms and it sold for $12 on Macari. Now, Macari has pretty good fees. Um, they're the low on the lower end of the fee spectrum outside of Facebook marketplace. They have the lowest fees. So it's a little Macari, like I said. So $1.85 was the fees for Macari. And so I made a profit of $7.55. It was really cute. And you really couldn't tell the pools were really kind of hidden by the floral pattern of it. So I think the fact that it was Vera Bradley and it was a cute floral pattern and scrubs helped it sell even for $12. Torrid Woman's 1X Black Lace uh, Sleeveless High Low Top. Uh, it was pink and black lace, sorry. It sold for $15. It was a, it was just a top, a basic like tank top. It was cute, but it sold for $15 a Macari, which if I'm going to sell something that cheap, I want to sell a Macari or Facebook. So the fees were $2.24. And so I made a profit of $10.16. Nike Woman's medium green moss heathered hoodie it sold for $15 on Poshmark it was an offer to likers so it was $1.50 off of the shipping fees were $3 and so the profit uh, was $7.90 and my goal for every sale although I want to make more um, is at least $8 in profit and that that was really close most things I get more than that Next item is Uniqlo Woman's Extra Small Red Paper Bag Waist A-Line Skirt with, um, with what? With pockets. <laughs> I should make it so I can see all my description here, all my title. Um, it sold on eBay for $20.76, including the shipping. Shipping was $6.28. Um, the... I'm off because now I don't have the whole thing highlighted. Sorry. Uh, the fees were $3.49 and the profit was $8.99, which is great. Theory. Now, this is this is one of those brands that retail for a fuck ton, but will it sell for that? Not necessarily. So Theory Woman's size six small size if it was a bigger size i probably could have got a little bit more but because it's a smaller size and there's it's more saturated in smaller sizes I, you know i took i took the i took what i got um x it was 100 lamb's leather pants they felt nice 
Um, they sold, I had them up there for 65. Now this was a pretty good offer. Honestly, I had them up there for 65. Um, the person sent me a message through Macari cause she couldn't offer for that low. She asked me, would you take 50 for these? So I lowered my price for $50 and she bought them. Um, the fees, um, were $6 and 75 cents. And so I made a profit of $41 and 25 cents. I got these at the bins. That's an excellent profit, even though they sold for a bit less than other people had sold the same brand and these same exact pants lane bryant woman's 18 long mid-rise super stretch straight jeans they sold for 17 dollars on poshmark uh three dollars and 40 cents was the fee and so i made a profit of 11 dollars Land's End, Women's 12, black high-rise straight jeans. Now, Land's End can do pretty good, actually, especially their jeans um, um, and their outerwear. I think their outerwear does pretty well as well. So $21, which I think is pretty good when you buy the bins, honestly. If I found this at a regular thrift store and they charge me $12, I would not pick these up. Um, Poshmark, it sold on Poshmark. The offer to Likers it was $2.46. $4.12 was the fees. And so I made a profit of $11.74. Tori Birch, Caroline Scrunch Peep Toe Women's um, Seven and a Half Blue Leather Wedges. Now, this had these had wear. They, um, when I got them at the bins, they were the blue was coming, they were blue, but they was like coming off. And so I took um, I don't remember, I think I did take some. No, I did not take any shoe cream, I don't think. I think I just took, no, I did. I did. I take that back. I did have to use some shoe cream, some blue shoe cream, because it was really kind of bad. So it darkened it up a bit. Um, and then I used the Wonder Balsam, Doc Martin's Wonder Balsam. I'll get there. Anyway, so they sold on eBay for $43. I got them at the bins though. So $8.49, because I, I, I got them into a padded flat rate. The fees were $7.65. And so my profit was $24.86. I mean, it took me about maybe 10 minutes to spruce them, spruce them up and like another five minutes to photograph and list them. So about 15 minutes of work yielded $24.86. That's not bad. And I don't really count the bins as part of the work because I love the bins. And it's kind of like, that's the fun part. And so I don't really count that as work. I know it's work, but whatever. And the next item is Timberland Women's Size Eight and a Half Savin Hill Tall Boots um, and Black Leather. They sold for $58 on Macari. Macari, I mean, Macari's been performing pretty well lately. So if you're sleeping on Macari, don't. I would list there, especially your shoes. Shoes go pretty good on Macari, for me at least. So the fees were $7.78. And so I made a profit of $47.72. And yeah, I got those at the bins. Um, I, I got them over, I got them in a picked over bin, like all, almost all the bins I shop out of are, you know, people have been through, like the vultures have gone through it. And then I go when there's not like a thousand people trying to get in there at the same time. I know there's not a thousand people there, but it feels like it sometimes. And then I just kind of go at my own pace and then I find great things still. Next item is free people. We the free, which is the lower end of their line, um, large south side thermal. So for $17 on Macari. For $2.49 was the fees. And so I made a profit of $12.51. Um, Torrid, woman's 3X black white open cardigan. Um, it I had up there for 35. I knew I wasn't gonna get 35. So it sold for 20. No <laughs> Macari. $2.88 was the fees. And so I made a profit of $15.12. Rebel Wilson for uh, Torrid. It was a faux leather pencil skirt. Some lady was like just throwing a bunch of stuff back. And so uh, this was one of the things I just kind of scooped up because she was doing it right next to me. And I was like, she put it in the it back in the bin. I'm putting it in my cart. We both kind of laughed about it. Anyway, so it sold for $15. Um, I sold it on Macari. Macari. Um, $2.24 is the fee. And so I made a profit of $10 and 76 cents. Union Jack made it. Now that wasn't really the brand, but it had a Union Jack on it. It was made in Scotland, uh, plaid woven, hundred percent cashmere scarf. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use Union Jack as the, as the brand, even though it was, really wasn't, but I had a Union Jack 
um, on the label. So um, it sold for $15. Now it had it been like branded, branded. I probably could have got more, but you know, it's okay. $15, um, it sold on Poshmark. So the fee was $3. And so I made a profit of 10. Mother, 29. Um, I think that's the first time I found mother. It was these jeans. Mother 29 crop zip muse once upon a time tartan pants or jeans. Um, they're skinny. They sold for $30 on Poshmark. Um, so $6 was the fee. And so I made a profit of $22. I thought that was pretty good. When I got them, they were just a little dirty. And so I just stuck them in the wash and they cleaned up just fine. So don't be afraid to wash. Now I don't wash all of my stuff because that would make my water bill go through the roof. And I'd be doing laundry nonstop. No, thank you. Um, I steam things. I steam everything. So everything gets steamed. Either gets steamed in my dryer or gets steamed in my steamer. One of the two, it gets steamed. And steaming, there's a lot of articles out there that um, talk about how steaming actually kills more germs and bacteria than washing your clothes does. So, because when I wash things, I wash things on cold, cold. And I think in order to kill the vast majority, you have to wash on hot or warm. So, um, but cold, cold, gentle is how I wash all my clothes because that gives it the best life. Anyway, um, these Molly and Isadora women's size 18 distress destroyed skinny jeans. Um, they were, they sold on Macari for $15. The fee was $1.85 and the profit was $11.15. I felt really bad for this buyer. Um, after she got the jeans, she sent me a message on Macari and she's like, oh no, I thought these were 18W and not just 18. There is a difference in uh, that, that sizing. So not all 18s are 18W. 18W means women's. And even though 18 is 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 marketed towards women. It actually is cut bigger if it has a W. So, um, anyway, so she's like, do you do returns or, I mean, Macari doesn't do returns for fit. So I knew that, um, what I did say was, um, and that sucks. I'm sorry. They didn't work out, but you know, feel free to use, I, she asked me if I did exchanges. I don't do that. And I don't think you can do that. I, I know you can't do it the Macari, but you just like Poshmark, you're not supposed to like take the transaction off of off of the platform. So I was like, no, sorry, that doesn't work out. I don't have any others to exchange it anyway. That was the only one I had in this brand. Anyway, so I told her, you know, feel free to use my pictures, you know, screenshot my pictures and use them in a listing. I'm good with that. And uh, I, I do that no matter what platform I'm on. I'm, I always offer my pictures if the item doesn't work out and they're going to keep it. On eBay, I offer free returns, but on Poshmark and Macari, there is no returns. So unless you misrepresent your item, which try very hard not to do that because I don't want cases open anyway. So, um, yeah, so I feel, feel bad for her, but hopefully she sells them for more than she bought them for me and she makes her money back. Maybe even small profit Marmont woman's large fair Haven hoodie slate gray. It's sold for $25. I was hoping this go for a bit more, but you know, whatever it's sold for $25. I'm a Kari. Um, <sighs> This is one that I originally had free shipping on, forgot and taken it off, forgot, did the relist and de the delist and relist feature on Vendu, which is fairly new, and put re free shipping back on it. So it sold <laughs> instantly. Like it sold like the next day I had relisted it. Oh, well. Um, so I did pay for $7.99 shipping. Yay, if you're FedEx. Um, $3.53 was the fees. And so I made a profit of $11 and 48 cents. Now, had I still been charging shipping, I would have made more, but whatever. It's neither here nor there. Uh, not your daughter's jeans. I don't really pick these up as, as much as I used to, especially since I can't get any more labels through thread up. Like if I was still getting labels through thread up, I'd be getting these to send to thread up because they sell really well on that platform. However, since I can't get, I, I can't get labels, my old account, like I have two accounts now, my old account um, hasn't been able to get a label in a year. And this new one I had opened up 17 boxes in, it stopped me and I'm hoping it will allow me to have labels again, but I'm not holding my breath. So I'm not picking up things until I can get more labels and then I'll pick up things for thread up and send them in. Anyway, they sold for $20 still. That's not bad. So anyway, I didn't tell you what style they were. They were size 10 and they were Maryland straight. Now straight is in. 
So I try to, if I, if it's still, if it's straight, I'm still trying to pick it up. Um, it's over $20 on eBay, $8.49. Oh yeah, I sold for $12 plus $8 shipping. So $8.49 was the shipping. Uh, $2.51 was the fees. And so I made $7. So um, would I pick these up again? Maybe not. Um, because uh, the profit system is not there. I'm trying to, I'm actually trying to get away from the lower profiting uh, items and try to get more of the higher profiting items. You know, I, I do want to do volume selling, but I want to do volume selling a bit higher, if that makes any sense. Anyway, so the North Face woman's uh, small, soft jacket is sold for $15 at Macari. $2.24 was the fees. So $10.76 was my profit. Neff, I had never heard of this brand, but it was color blocked. So men's small color block ski jacket. I thought it would go for a bit more than it did. And maybe if I put it on places like Depop, because it I, I well, I wasn't sure if it was vintage or not. I feel like it was, but I'm not sure. So you can tell me in the comments below if you think this was vintage. Um, $22. I sold on Poshmark. $1.50 was the offer to like her fee. $4.40 was Poshmark fees. And so I made $14 in 10 cents, which I don't mind selling coats on Poshmark, honestly, because I can shove it into a big flat, uh, not flat rate, but a big um, priority box and just send it off. I don't have to worry about finding a box for it that's not, you know, that. Like if it sells on eBay, I want to put it into a small box. If it sells on Macari, I need to find something that would be okay with FedEx because most of the heavy items go to FedEx. Anyway. So Helly Hansen, and I realize I have not been telling you how quickly these things have sold. Most things, almost everything sold in under 30 days and um, a few things sold in two weeks. So um, Helly Hansen women's medium ski jacket, green and cream. It sold on Macari for $43. So I was excited about that. This is another one that I had delisted and relisted and forgot there was free shipping on the original listing in Bendu that I hadn't fixed yet. And so I paid for shipping of $7.99. $5.85 was the fees. And so I still made a profit of $27.16. So that's not bad. Even with free shipping, I was pretty, I was pretty happy with that. Nike Pro Women's Medium Dry Fit Hyper Warm Leggings. They sold on eBay for $19.25. $4.98 was the shipping. Fees were $2.49. And so I made a $9.28 profit. Lucy, Women's Large Black Workout Yoga Active Athleisure Pants. They sold for $15 on Poshmark. I might start trying to maybe lock these up. I'm not sure. It sold for, I mean, $3 was the fees. And so I still made a $9.40 profit. So it wasn't terrible. Fabletics 1X Dark Blue Leggings High Waisted. They sold on $12. They sold on $12. They sold on Macari for $12. Um, $1.85 was the fee. And so $8.15 was my profit. Torrid Women's Zero X Large Super Soft Plush Olive Green Towel Neck Tunic Hoodie. Funny, it was, um, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, me and my friend Kristen, who I go to the bins with usually on Wednesdays, not today, but next week we will be. Um, we, I don't know, she had picked that out and she just kind of, she, she had passed on it and we were at the same bin. And so I found it or she had like, I think she had like, oh, here, here these are, if you're looking, if you're interested. And she knows I pick up Torrid. I think she does too, but I don't know. She doesn't pick up Zero X. Anyway, I picked them both up. So this and another top that both of them is sold now. So um, it sold for, oh, in a bundle, Levi's Woman 16 pull-on black jeans and Lane Bryant 16 boyfriend distressed jeans. So each item basically sold for $13.33 in this bundle on Poshmark. So the fee, the shipping fee for um, all of them, because I did offer a shipping discount. I bundled these and then I sent off an, out an offer. It was 82 cents each item. So I gave the four, $4, not $4, but it was uh, $4.99. She paid $4.99 $4 shipping. 
uh, the fees were $2.66 each. And so my profit on each item was $7.85, which I don't actually mind making slightly less profit when things are bundled together because it gets three items out of my closet fast. So, and I think that sold, that sold the very next day. And the, um, the jeans, they had been there for two weeks. So um, yeah, well, one pair of jeans had been there for three weeks. The other one had been there for two weeks, but the, the tour top literally sold the next day in the bundle. So had I not had that tour top, maybe she wouldn't have bundled all of them. Food for thought. Sometimes the lower stuff helps bundle the rest of it, but not always. Pagolino, um, no, Pagliano. Tell me if I'm saying that right. I know it's, uh, I know it's Italian. Men's medium 90, 90s vintage sweater. I probably should have put a Y2K in that title. I did not. Um, it sold for $28 on eBay. So not terrible. $8.49 was the um, shipping. $4.87 was the fees. And so I made a profit of $12.68. Torrid 2X Black Lattice Ponte pencil skirt. This was the uh, the same. I don't know if it was in the same bin that this lady was sent was put it put in the other pencil skirt. Um, I don't know if she threw this one back too, but she might have. Anyway, it was two X. They were both two X. So it makes me think that she threw both of them up. I scooped both of them up. Uh it's over $21 and 50 cents on eBay. The shipping on that was five dollars and seventy two cents. The fees were $2.71, and so I made a profit of $11.07. Voice over time. So I don't know what I was thinking. I had the wrong item selected. Anyway, so really, I sold a pair of Can Can jeans on Poshmark for $15. $3 was the fee, and so I made a $10 profit. Um, I'm not sure if I would pick up these in the future or not because I, I did think they went for more but is it because they were skinny is it because they're destroyed let me know in the comments below and tell me why uh, perhaps these didn't go for as much as I thought they should um the next item Ann Taylor woman's size 10 red holiday dress on uh, front and tied in the front um it sold on Macari for $20 uh, 288 was the fee. And so I made a profit of $15.12. Free people, extra small. Uh, <laughs> plaid Johnny on the spot tunic. It sold for $12 on Macari. The person was very happy to get it. Um, $1.85 was the fee. And so $8.15 um, was my profit. And I was okay with that. It, it sold relatively fast. I mean, well, within a month. So it took a month to sell, almost a month to sell. Free people, medium plaid braided side button up shirt. Um, it probably had a name. I don't know what it was. $16 on Macari. So Macari is selling uh, free people. I know it's pretty, pretty low, but it's pretty saturated. So it's kind of hard to get a good amount of money on free people anymore, unless you have a really special piece. Um, so $2.36 was the fees. And so I made a profit of $11.64. Polo Ralph Lauren, women, now women, men's large ivory, 100% cotton sweater, a fourth zip. So fourth zip right here. Obviously, why where would it fourth zip otherwise? <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyway, um, it sold for $15 on Poshmark, $3 was the fee. Um, so I made a $10 profit. Halogen, women's small bow back cornflower blue sweater. I thought this sweater was really cute, but how, uh, Halogen is a Nordstrom house brand. So I knew it wasn't going to get a lot for it. It's all for $15 though on Poshmark. $2.95. Oh, I put $2.95 was a fee. It's actually $3. Let me fix that. $3 was the fee. Um, $9.75 was my profit. Uh, Le Leroy's, Leroy's, why? Levi's, high mile, super skinny women's 30 blue jeans. Yeah, I'm still picking up skinny because I love skinny. I know there's people out there that love skinny and they're not going to switch. I mean, I have some straight jeans too, but I love skinny. They just, they feel like wearing pajamas. I don't know why. $15 on Poshmark, 
fee was $3. So I made a $10 profit. Torrid women's uh, 3X sugar skull slip ruffle neck dress. This sold the very same day I listed it. Sold for $28 on eBay. $6.28 was the shipping fee. Fees were $3.25. And so I made a $15.97 profit. And it was like a sundress. Uh, Torrid Woman's 4X Gray Military Band Blazer Ponty Stretch Jacket. This was new attack. I was hoping this would go for more than it did. It did not. It did go for $19 on Macari. The person who bought it is very happy with their purchase. So I'm happy that they're happy. So um, the fee was $2.75. I still made a really good profit though of $13.65. So I'm not upset by it. I just thought it would go for more. You know, you have those things you're like, this should go for more. This should go for like $25 I, I, at least. No, I was wrong. I mean, it didn't go for that much under it either. Noise. Now this coat, I really did think I was going to get quite a bit more for it. I did not. Uh, noise, women's large red, black winter coat. It was a good, nice coat. It came from, um, it was made in Canada. And a lot of times Canadian stuff, um, Canadian made stuff is worth more. It just is. So anyway, $31, which is not bad, but I thought I'd get more closer to 75 for it. Anyway, $31 in Poshmark, $1.50 was the offer to Likers, $6 was the fee. And so I made a $21.05 profit. I got this from the bin, so I paid $2.25 for it. <clears throat> Airy Woman's Large Chill Play Move Leopard Leggings. Now, I probably should have put these slightly more because they sold almost instantaneously. Um, they sold them for $15 on Poshmark. $3 was the fee, and so I made $9.85. Prana Woman's yeah. It, okay. <laughs> this is the last day. Prana women's medium drop waist uh, dress. This was not getting um, a, a, not very much attention. So I think I took a, I took an offer for $16. So two thirty six was the fee on Macari. And so I made $11 and 64 cents. Gypsy 05, which I think is out of LA. Uh, Los Angeles, women's medium silk tie dye maxi dress. Had we been in the summertime, if I would have sold for more, we're not, so we didn't. Uh, $28 on eBay, $572 was the fee. So $4.85, I'm sorry, $572 was shipping, $485 was the fee. And so I made a profit of $15.43. And the last item that sold um, in this time span was Banana Republic. Woman's size 10 black and white sheath dress. It sold for $15 on Poshmark. $3 was the fee. And so I made $9.50 profit. Voice over Melissa is back. So my numbers were a little off on the back end of this video. So I made nine, I sold $940.50 in uh, sales, or I had $950 in sales. And my, my take home after COGS, after fees, I made $598.55. So I almost had $1,000 in sales for this week. That's not you. That's higher than normal. Hopefully I can keep that trend going. So I'm really excited that almost $1,000. Um, and yeah, you better believe it. I'm putting that in my title. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fabulous sale week.